Have you ever wondered why all the motivational videos you watch have people doing exercise in them when they're meant to be talking about being successful? Does this mean to have a life of abundance, you have to do exercise? Every time they do a push-up, are they getting paid? Watch this video and I'll explain to you how doing exercise changed my life. My name is John Collett and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, but I managed to reverse my condition. The whole point of this channel is if you're a type 2 diabetic and you're looking to reverse your condition naturally, then Type Rhino is the channel for you. Give us a subscribe, give us a like and press that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos that come out Monday 6.30 GMT time. Hello Rhinos, how are you all doing? So how can doing exercise make you successful? Let's get into it. My pre-diabetic self used to watch a lot of motivational videos on YouTube. My favorite one was Arnold Schwarzenegger's Six Rules. But I couldn't help but notice a lot of the motivational videos I used to watch on YouTube had a lot of people doing exercise, flipping tires, all of that type of thing. And I couldn't figure out why exercise made you successful. And then when I got diagnosed with type two diabetes and I started doing exercise on a regular basis and studying how people become successful, I learned the link between the two. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the nine things I learned about how doing exercise can also teach you to be successful in life. My first lesson is you start to learn how to be successful at something. When you start to do exercise, even if you do it a little bit at the beginning or you start eating a lot healthier, you start getting a little bit of success. And when you get that little bit of success, you feel fantastic and you actually end up craving a lot more success. You can't wait to let lose the next bit of weight. And this is the true, this is true for whenever you're trying to set up a business or you're trying to learn a new skill. As soon as you get a little bit of success, you can't wait for the next one. It's like a drug. You want more and more. The second thing I learned is you're in control. Instead of being told what to do by a boss or being told what to do by society, you're finally doing something about your physical condition and it's your choice, you're in control of it. We all spend too much of our time meandering down the river in the boat, letting the tide take us where we wanna be. When we start to exercise, we grab one of the oars. <laughs> and we start having a bit more control of where we're going. And we like that feeling. As my mentor DDP Diamond Dallas Page says, if you want something, reach out and grab it. Third lesson, you're learning something new. There's always something really exhilarating about learning a new skill. When you start to learn that new apparatus or learn to do that new yoga move, it always gives you a burst of energy. And sometimes that will encourage you to do more different things in your life, do something different other than just work in a job or apply for a new job or learn a new language. It encourages you to do other things because that feeling yet again is very addictive. Lesson four, you learn to deal with frustration. Whenever you learn to do something new, your mind starts telling you all those things that you can't do it. If you was meant to do, do this, you wouldn't be fat, right? And when you initially start learning the new moves, be it a yoga move or using uh, the apparatus down the gym, it can seem very frustrating as you're trying to figure out how it works and how you're gonna get to use it. But what you learn is that the more you do it, the better you get. The more you do it, you begin to master that skill. And you understand 
But as long as you keep on going and you don't give up, you get better and better until it becomes part of your subconscious. Lesson five, you enter the zone. When you first start doing exercise, you have to think about everything you're doing. And it does feel difficult at first. But like I said earlier, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get, you get doing it. It's like learning to drive a car. When you first learn to drive a car, you have to think about your mirrors. You have to think about got my seatbelt on. And then you've got you to gotta go into first gear, press the accelerator, lift the clutch up at the same time. But if you've been driving for a while, do you really think about that anymore? It's the same with doing exercise. When you do exercise, after a while, it just your body just does it subconsciously and you enter the, a zone. And this is where your mind becomes one with your body and your body becomes part one with your mind. You stop thinking about breakfast, you stop thinking about the work day, you just think about the workout, concentrating on your breathing and you start really enjoying it. And then when the time you get to the end of the workout, it's almost like you're waking up from a deep sleep. You feel completely relaxed. Your mind is completely invigorated. And whatever you felt before you started doing the workout, you now feel absolutely awesome. And yet again, this is exactly what it's like when you're doing something new. To begin with, you have to deal with all of the frustration of learning those new skills, getting right at those new skills. But eventually, you know how to do it. And when you know how to do it, you start getting more confidence and you start getting braver and you start doing more and more and more. Lesson six, it has to become a habit. I strongly believe that this is the biggest lesson out of all. You've got to make this, the, the actions you take on a daily basis that get you where you want to be to become habitual. So if that means you want to be better at your job, if you want to lose weight, if you want to, be, you want to have a successful business, if you want to reverse your type 2 diabetes, the habits, you, making something a habit is hugely important. We always hear, don't we, about the overnight success stories. But it's not until we actually look into the story a bit deeper do we realize that that successful band has spent years playing pubs and clubs and play, practicing in garages. The business owner that had many years of being broke or had previously failed businesses before they were successful. It's exactly the same with your type 2 diabetes. When you start doing exercise and eating healthy, yes, it becomes, it needs to become a habit if you want to reverse it. It's something you're going to have to do on a regular basis. But when you've got your A1C down, it doesn't stop there. That's just the beginning of the battle. Now you've got to keep on going to keep that thing down and make sure that you're the dominant force in it. But when it gets to a point where doing the exercise and eating healthy or do, learning new skills to be successful in whatever you want in life, if you don't do it and your body gives you that feeling of why haven't we done that today, you know you've made it a habit. Lesson seven, learning to deal with failure. When you start learning to do exercise, you're gonna hurt yourself. You are gonna hurt yourself. There's no doubt that you're going to be feeling pain, especially at the beginning. And it's how you deal with that failure is hugely important about what happens going forward. And it's the same in anything, new skills that you're learning in life. If you're going to, if you're going to start doing things that you're not going to, you've not done before, you're going to fail. And learning how to deal with that is the most important thing. Thomas Edison had a fantastic attitude towards this and has been used time and time again in motivational videos. He found 10,000 ways not to make a light bulb. He failed 10,000 times, but he succeeded once. And what that means is he failed his way to success. Accept the fact 
that you're going to do the same thing. If it's going to be reversing your type 2 diabetes and you get hurt, how you react to being hurt is what is the most important thing. You can decide to sit there and say, woe is me, this form of exercise isn't, is not right for me. Or you can accept the fact that this is what happens. If elite football stars and elite sports people are not immune to getting hurt, what makes you think you're not immune to getting hurt? It's what you do when you are hurt that's important. Use it as an opportunity to learn a new skill, to learn a new workout, to learn something new about nutrition, to further your career. And then when you're feeling better again and you f the hurt has gone away, get back on the mat, get back down the gym, pound that pavement, whatever it is that you choose to do, you do it. But accept the fact that you're gonna fail your way to success. Lesson eight, celebrate hitting your goals. When you start doing exercise, you have no choice but to start celebrating doing, hitting your goals. Why? Because you've got to go to the shop and you've got to buy new clothes that are going to fit you. right? And when you put those new clothes on and you're looking in the mirror and you're looking at really good, your shoulders go back, your head goes a little bit higher and you start feeling really, really good about yourself. When people start coming up to you and telling you how healthy you're looking, right? you start feeling good about yourself. So you start to celebrate your success. And this is no different than if you do anything else in life. When you start achieving even small things, you gotta celebrate those successes. Every time you got better at a skill and you did something you didn't think you could achieve, then celebrate it because it gives you a memory. Whenever you're feeling bad, whenever you're feeling down, Start thinking about how you were feeling when you did that successful thing, be it lose weight or master how to have a YouTube channel. Do those things, okay? Celebrate your success. Lesson nine, you can no longer BS yourself. Your mind is always telling you, you're not good enough. You can't do this, you can't do that. But when you start doing exercise, and you lose that first two pounds, or you start eating healthy, and you the weight starts to come off, you realize the BS your mind is telling you, the story that you're putting into your brain on a regular basis is just that, it's total BS. It's a paper thin illusion that has no base or substance. And when you look in the mirror, when that voice is talking to you, it can no longer be true because you lost two pounds. You were successful at doing something. It's just a lie trying to cheat you out of the things that you really deserve. Now when you look at that mirror, you can see the real you, the person that you really want to be, the rhino you know you are. Because as the more you exercise, the healthier you get, the more weight you lose, the stronger you get, the more success you get. You've, you've now learned that if you've made it habitual, you've mastered the skill, you can go into the zone that you can actually do anything. That you can become a 6,000 pound charging rhino. That when you now decide that there's something that you want, and you've got to have it, you understand what you've got to go through to achieve those things. You've learned that the majority of the torpedoes that get thrown at you, uh, thrown at you in life, are, it's been you throwing the torpedoes. And better still, you know how to avoid the ones that are coming your way. You're not a number. You're a rhino. Now charge.